Also, we're learning more and more um, from many investigators such as Roxanne Gross-Dietz, a speech language pathologist, as others um, about the swallowing respiratory discoordination of persons with Parkinson's. Many individuals with Parkinson's disease are producing more swallows while they're inhaling during the inhalation cycle of the swallow, therefore contributing the, um, to the aspiration. And they're also swallowing at low pulmonary tidal volume, impacting their ability to clear material that has been aspirated. And we're going to be talking specifically about treatments that we can use to help persons with Parkinson's deal with these swallowing respiratory deficits. As I mentioned before, saliva production is actually reduced in persons with Parkinson's because of the medications, um, particularly levodopa, that caught the anticholinergics that cause dryness. Despite patients reporting drooling, 55% report dryness as well. So sialuria or drooling in persons with Parkinson's, it's very important that we ask patients about this because drooling helps to predict dysphagia. 86% of patients with Parkinson's who present with drooling also exhibit oral pharyngeal dysphagia, and that's common sense. But also very important to keep in mind Persons with Parkinson's that have the diur diurnal or daytime drooling problems are likely to develop silent aspiration and are at increased risk of respiratory infection and disease compared to other individuals with Parkinson's. Why? It's happening a greater percentage of the time. It's more visible. It's probably happening a greater percentage of time while these individuals are sleeping, their sensitivity is reduced. So hence the greater incidence of pulmonary infection and pulmonary problems and pneumonia. Another technique that a number of my patients have reported that can be helpful is encouraging them to get a small spritzer or spray bottle and in there mix a combination of the real lemon juice and water and then periodically spraying it into their mouth where they may be dry despite the extra saliva that they're not managing and this can help them to trigger a swallow also providing that sensory feedback loop. We're all very familiar with um, the use of postures in swallowing intervention but particularly in the person with Parkinson's it's important with the postural instability the stoop posture forward that we educate the patient and get them to think about the importance of eating while sitting upright completely, optimizing the sitting position with the chin tucked or head tucked forward if it's been proven helpful under modified barium swallow. It can assist in patients that have uh, pharyngeal delay, poor tongue-based retraction against the posterior pharyngeal wall or poor airway protection, but it may worsen the swallow in individuals that have a lot of pharyngeal residue. So again, I would encourage you to make sure that you check the effectiveness of every posture, if possible, under x-ray because sometimes these techniques may actually worsen the swallow.